However, when the Article 50 process is triggered in three months' time, the UK will be on a two-year path to the EU exit door. If Parliament judges that a second referendum is the best or only way to protect our place in Europe, it must have the option to hold one within that timescale. That means we must act now to protect that position. I can therefore confirm today that in order to protect that position, we will begin to prepare the legislation that would be required to enable a new independence referendum to take place if and when Parliament so decides. To conclude, this is not a situation that I wanted Scotland or the UK to be in today. But my responsibility in a climate of uncertainty is to seek to lead us forward with purpose. I know that there is a lot of thinking and talking to be done in the period that lies ahead and before final decisions are taken. The issues that we face are complex. There are many people who voted against independence in 2014 who are today reassessing their decision. Indeed, a very large number of them have contacted me already. However, I know that they will not want me to simply assume their support or to hear me talk about the challenges we face as if they are straightforward. They will want me to be straight and honest with them. Now is the time for me as First Minister to do everything I can to bring people together in common cause and to seek to lead our country forward as one. The need to act decisively must be tempered with the need to build consensus and it will be. That is my duty as First Minister. After a campaign that has been characterised in the rest of the UK by fear and hate, my priority in the days, weeks and months ahead will be to act at all times in the best interests of Scotland and in a way that unites, not divides us. And let me be also be clear uh, about this. Whatever happens as a result of this outcome, England, Wales and Northern Ireland will always be Scotland's closest neighbours and our best friends. Nothing will ever change that. But I want to leave no one in any doubt about this. I am proud of Scotland and how we voted yesterday. We proved that we are a modern, outward-looking, open and inclusive country. And we said clearly that we do not want to leave the European Union. I am determined that we will do what it takes to make sure that these aspirations are realised. In closing, let me just say a word or two about the Prime Minister. David Cameron and I have very many political disagreements, not least over the conduct of this referendum. But as I am learning every single day, leadership is not easy. David has been the Prime Minister of the UK for six years. It is a tough job. And whatever our disagreements, he deserves our thanks for his service. I wish him and his family well for the future. To these comments, I'm happy to take some questions. Glenn Campbell. First Minister, if not an independence referendum, what other options are available to you? Well, I think an independence referendum is now uh, highly likely, um, but I also think it's important that we take time to consider all steps and to have the discussions, uh, not least to assess the uh, response of the European Union uh, to the vote that Scotland expressed yesterday. Um, I uh, am absolutely determined in uh, my responsibility to give effect to how Scotland voted yesterday and it's important that I take all steps to make sure that we explore all options to do exactly that. Colin. Is that independence referendum that you say is highly likely, will that go ahead with or without consent of Westminster? Because you had consent the last time. Well, obviously we would seek to follow the same precedent that we did the last time. Um, but you know, I think in the circumstances where the Scottish Parliament uh, decides that that option is uh, an option that it wants to exercise, I think it would be inconceivable that, uh, particularly in the circumstances that have given rise to this, that the UK government would seek to stand in its way. But of course, these are some of the discussions that we will be seeking to have uh, in the days uh, and weeks ahead. Uh, I'll take Peter. Uh, First Minister, if you say you want Scotland to remain in the EU, you say that to do that you're likely to propose a referendum, the rest of the UK will be out of the EU. That must mean 
will be a border between Scotland, a proper real border between Scotland and England. These are issues that we now have to uh, assess and consider, and we have to do that calmly and rationally. That's why I have uh, said very, very clearly in the remarks I've made today that I am not going to stand here and pretend to anybody that the issues we face are straightforward. We face many complex issues, which is another reason why, uh, in uh, addition to being determined uh, about giving effect to how Scotland voted, I'm going to take the time to make sure that all of Scotland uh, considers all of these issues and has the chance to move forward as one. I think that is of the uh, utmost importance uh, at this time. Sarah. First Minister, are you confident that in the potential turmoil that could follow a Brexit, that those are circumstances in which Scotland will want to vote for independence? I think in uh, the circumstances of, of turmoil, and can I say, I, I won't uh, want to see uh, turmoil affecting any part of, of the United Kingdom. I believe the decision that was taken across the UK yesterday was the wrong decision, a mistake. Um, uh, but I, I hope very much that some of uh, the fears that were had about it are not realised because it would not be in the interests of uh, people anywhere in the UK uh, if they, they are, but um, I, I'm not sure that uh, is not uh, more in hope than in expectation. Uh, but it is exactly because of the, the uncertainty and the potential turmoil that we face that I think it is in my uh, responsibility to seek to bring Scotland together, uh, to lead Scotland forward uh, into a position that allows us to continue with the stability and the certainty uh, that membership of the European Union gives us. I am not saying that these issues are straightforward, uh, but I do think that is the responsibility and indeed the opportunity uh, that now lies before us. But I'll take care, uh, Presumably, you don't want to risk losing another referendum. You'll call it when the polls tell you you're almost certain to win it. What level of support do you need at the polls? My uh, guiding principle in every decision I take over uh, these next days, weeks and months will be what I judge to be in the best interest, not of the SNP uh, or as me as First Minister, but what I judge to be in the best interest of Scotland. That is the responsibility uh, I have and that's how I will get every decision I take. First Minister, right. First Minister uh, you, 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 just, you just said the vote shows that Scotland is forward.